Hi, hey everybody, here we are. It's a little dark in here because we are streaming from the bus back to Fort Worth. You know what, Sean? This is a happy bus right now. <laughs> and why are we happy? We won. Can we hear a score? 62 to 22. That's, uh, Sean, you got the numbers on that. That's the biggest loss. That's the biggest loss by Baylor at McLean Stadium. The most number of points scored by a visiting team at McLean Stadium and the most number of points scored by an unranked team against a ranked Baylor team since 1958. Wow. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, got, we got people in the background asking how long have they actually ever ever, ever been ranked. So uh, that's a good, that's a very valid point. But uh, still, 62-22, TCU wins by 40 points against uh, the number 17 ranked Bears in dramatic fashion. And Wes, we finally got four straight quarters of yeah, TCU we did. football. We've been praying for four straight quarters of football and by golly, we got it today. It started off a little bleak on the second play of the game. You know, Seth Russell connects with the Ishmael Zamora for an 81-yard touchdown pass. And yeah, we're a little thinking, push off there, not I, called uh, by yeah, the refs. Yeah, that, that one got by on them. But, um, you know, I thought, ah, here we're off to a bad start here. But the Frogs answered immediately, came back and scored and just kept scoring and scoring. And every time Baylor scored, we came back with a vengeance and answered their score. Absolutely. We, at one point in time, I think we had uh, more yardage. Uh, well, no, sorry. We cut that. We had over 600 yards of total yards. Right. Over 400 yards on the ground. 400, yeah, 400 and, yards on the ground. And Kyle Hicks, I think, either tied or was second most rushing touchdowns in TCU history. Five touchdowns would put him just behind um, uh, Tony Jeffrey. And who scored all those touchdowns against Tulane back in the 80s. Right. So it was it was a great game. We really stuck to the ground today. And like I said, 400, 417, 418 yards on the ground. Pretty impressive. The line blocked. The, the, the backs, the running backs had great vision and made the cut properly, did a great job. Kenny Hill was very good and on target. Most of his he, passes. he took care of the ball. He made a lot of smart decisions. He was working through his progressions, and when nothing was there, he took off and made a lot of good plays with his legs. And actually, he was only five yards away from being a 100-yard rusher, so he had 95 yards. So That's amazing. We, uh, we, we took care of business today. And, of course, a lot of it, you'll hear a lot of things now in the press that Baylor was um, – uh, responding to some tweets that the, I guess the assistant coaches threw oh, out yeah. yesterday. Yeah, well, during the, the post-game comments with uh, the Baylor coach, all the Waco Trib reporter wanted to talk about was the tweets that the assistant coaches made before the game, talking about how they support Art Bryles and how did that affect the team. And I think at one point in time an ESPN reporter asked one of the, uh, one of the players, is this, is this rock bottom losing to TCU? Uh, I mean, just no. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> no. what a crap question to losing ask. Losing to Kansas would be rock bottom. Yeah, losing to Kansas would be rock bottom. Yeah, Absolutely, back. but yeah, there's there's a lot of chaos going on right now in Baylor, but uh, they brought it on themselves. Well, they they announced that they're going to be wearing black in support of our brows, but as the score up, get a little distance in the score by the end of the second half quarter, some of the Baylor fans are tweeting, "We're wearing black because this is our funeral." <laughs> so it was. Uh, <laughs> That's a good way to spin it. That's a good way to spin yeah, it. Very good way to spin it. Lie. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. No kidding. It was it was interesting. Uh, they were selling T-shirts with a uh, hashtag CAB, Coach Art Bryles, uh, before the game. They were kind of a hot seller. Yeah, it was interesting to kind of see them kind of take this on as kind of a Coach Art Bryles Appreciation Day. But I tell you what, if, if this is the result of a Coach Art Bryles Appreciation Day, I think every day should be a Coach Art Bryles Appreciation hey, Day. Nothing better than kicking Baylor's butt on Coach Art Bryles Appreciation Day. No. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, but let's talk also about the defense. Defense I, was superb. I mean, one, one of the best defensive efforts I think we've seen in TCU in the last two seasons. Uh, Lewis came out with a vengeance. Um, Tejada was, was locked down on the corner as well. Or was lighting people up across the middle. The linebackers were doing their doing their duty, and the line was absolutely just confusing Seth Russell. The, yeah, the line did a tremendous job, and, and Gary Patterson mixed it up a lot too. We haven't blitzed from the corner position very often. No, the aggressive play calling was and, great. And he was very aggressive on his play calls, and it paid off, and we uh, we had some good sacks in there. Absolutely. we Even, even towards the end of the game, um, in the press game conference, actually Seth Russell was asked, was the uh, the T TCU defense at, at all way responsible for the way you guys played today? And, and Russell went, no, not at all. It, we just weren't on our game. Oh, yeah. Of <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, 62 to 22, and TCU's defense had nothing to do with that. But uh, take that for what you will. 
but the, the TCU defense comes up huge. Uh, at one point in time in the fourth quarter, Baylor had more yards punting than they did of total offense. And at one point they had more yards and penalties than they had rushing. That's true. That's true. It was a pretty sloppy game by Baylor. Um, a pretty bad game all the way around, but a great game by TCU defense. TCU offense came up big. And like we said, the thing we've been asking for all year long, we got four straight quarters of frog football. Our prayers are answered. Yeah, Amen, absolutely. brother. So it looks like uh, if this team has got this thing figured out, and I think we all hope they do, uh, this is a team that, that can win out and can win big. They just got to keep up with the confidence, make sure they play four straight quarters from here on out in every single game. Well, we got some big games left. Uh, there's three more games left. We're five and four. One more, as Coach Patterson said, we'll be, we're, we're in a bowl. And he said, according to him, there's no bad bowls. So yeah, well, I might argue that. Yeah, but, maybe you know, a little. Yeah, just, just there's a few I can name. Just a few. Yeah. But we made a big first step here today. We did. All right. Absolutely. Well, that was a big one. Bus. Everybody hands up, Frogs. Hey. Hey. All right. We are out of here. Go, frogs. Go, frogs. Go, Frogs.